Hey guys, uh, today I am sharing with you this sort of hack I have for drawing mandalas. Um, so for supplies you're going to want to have some black pens, uh, a pencil, an eraser, some colored pens if you like, or just whatever you want to draw with today. And obviously a sketchbook or paper of some sort. Um, so the kind of hack that I have is that you'll want to print off these templates that I've created. Um, they're on my website. I'll put the, all the links below. Um, and you're going to also want to have some paper clips just to clip those templates on to your paper so they don't move around. And um, as you can see, you can easily see it through the paper, so there's no issue um, with that, you don't have to draw lines on your paper if you don't want to. You can just have a really nice, fresh, clean piece of paper to work on. And you can see here I also have a more complex template that you can work with. If you want to do more detailed mandalas, um, I do suggest starting with the easy one first and then moving forward with the more complex one as you get more practice. So I also like to keep some patterns for inspiration. So anytime you go to draw mandalas, you can refer to this little sheet with um, sort of patterns already on it. So you can reference that. Uh, you can see it here. I've created this sort of grid template for that, which is also on my website. And if you don't have access to a printer, I've also created some books of these templates. You can see here it's available on Amazon. And you can, it has all the templates. It has this cute little book page, how to use it. And then you've got the grid template, the simple template, and a bunch of the complex templates. So you can draw right in the book for practice, or you can save one and, you know, use it as a template uh, behind, to use behind a piece of paper to, to trace. So I'll also leave links below to the workbooks and everything I've mentioned here. So you're going to start drawing your mandala from the center and you can sketch it out first or just dive right in with whatever supplies you're using. Um, since it's just for practice, you can just you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It can just be whatever you want. Just sort of let it grow and flow organically. And you can refer to your pattern sheet or look at different patterns on Pinterest um, or like Google other mandala patterns. And obviously just don't copy them. Um, and anyway, that's pretty much it. You can just have fun with it and relax and draw a bunch of mandalas for fun. And uh, I'm just going to speed up the rest of this video now. So you can watch me draw a mandala or, you know, move on to the next video or try drawing your own mandalas. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, like and subscribe if you liked this video and check out some of my other mandala videos if you're interested. And we'll see you next time. Cheers.